Okay, now we come to the gaming station. And for comparison here, we have an old um, Sony PlayStation 1 here on the left side. Compared to on the right, we have a Nintendo Switch. And of course, the power supply difference is that the Nintendo Switch is now lighter and it's thinner, and people like to travel with their gaming station. Um, for comparison, again, on the power supply, we see this is a 20-watt embedded power supply into the Sony PlayStation 1 from around 1995. And then we've gone about 50% higher power. This is a 30-watt adapter. And this has gone down to probably um, 3x the size of the 30 watt, of 20 watt, and delivering 50% more power. Um, it could have gone even lighter, could have gone even smaller, but they've actually added a few functions in here with the extra room, such as uh, HDMI connection, so that you can easily connect up to watch um, your Nintendo Switch on a large LED TV. If we take a few um, closer look at the power supplies, we can see that in the past, that 20 watt power supply was a silicon based. Um, flyback running at 30 kilohertz, where the GAN based is running at 150 kilohertz, so we have about five times faster switching frequency. And that is what enables the magnetics to shrink down and, and, uh, and enables the complete power supply to also be reduced in size. And then we have about 67, 63% energy savings. And all of this has resulted in a power supply that's around uh, six times, 5.6, six times smaller than the past.